good evening to you. Welcome to Chit Chat right here on YTF TV. I hope you've had a great day. Welcome to the show. Now, if you don't know about us, if you're new to the show, we're all about gossip. Now, we tell you what your favorite celebrities have been up to. We give you a weekly roundup. My name is Philine. That's at Philine Jean across all socials. And if you're a fan of the show, you already know I have get the gang gang in studio joining me today. And of course, Kama Kawaida, I'm going to be starting with our very own Sassy JC, as we call her. What's up? Hi. Unaka vizuri sana. Oh, thank so you. Pretty. So do you. So ah, do you. Ah, mm. Thanks. Thank. 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 Oh, guys. Aki tu me wa mi. Sana. Sana. Sana kuwa hata mbaya mbovu. But uh, stay tuned. Kama kawaida tuko na pivi. Na the headmaster. Oh, tabu guys. Tabu guys. <laughs> Mm? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> yes, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are Two weeks. Eight in a while. So, ladies and gentlemen, as we always say, ni wakati wakachai. So, ile remote na niwekea na hapa nyuma mahali tulisema. Yes, and as we always say, hapa piru is officially Open each eye, Philip. When I was away, Philip, when I was away, yeah, I ladies Mulisoma chemistry. Mukajua story ya kibiriti. Ah, wey, ina ipanda bae. Kibiriti, ipanda bae. Kibiriti, iyo ni kibiriti. Kibiriti, 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 iyo ni kibiriti. Kibiriti. Madam, na jomla ni cheka, on a serious note. I was recently on another show, it's so embarrassing when it comes up. I'm just telling you in advance. So that if you come, you need to check. You need to check your time. Anyway, hashtag is Chit Chat. Welcome to the show. We are on Facebook as Y254, as well as Twitter and Instagram. Go comment below. Let us know where you're watching the show from and your contribution to various stories we're going to be covering tonight. And at the end of the show, we're going to be sending some love, some shoutouts, some salams your way. We cool? Good. Now let's get started. Now it seems like rappers Octopizo and Calligraph Jones beef is. Back on after their recent social media outbursts. Now the two have been rivals for a long time, but despite each one of them growing in their own right, they just can't bury the hardship. <laughs> now, in a bid to help fellow artists who are struggling during the COVID season, rapper Calligraph Jones reached out to the deputy president, pleading with him to listen to the plight of Kenyans who have been rendered jobless due to the government enforced COVID-19 regulations. Even promising to campaign for the DP free of charge come 2022 if he gets the president to open up the country. Now, the DP then invited Calligraph Jones and other creatives to his current home. And, of course, they honored his invite. But this did not sit well with rapper Octopizo, who accused them of selling out. <laughs> I don't know. Actor, actor, P.I. The position on the Z number nine, baby. Number nine, baby. So, actor, P.I. is the man. Yeah, yeah, the top one. Nila, to plan, to the quarter, to include. Yeah, the top one. I'm to plan, to fill in, to the quarter, to include. Actor, Mr. Mavi, here's the thing. At the moment, we're on the public social media. You are, you're venting, ranting. Oh, he got away. Where's he? We're not finding Joe Sanis. Do you need any? Yeah. And then you have a platform. Of course, you have a following. Yes. You you are like, oh, dear Mr. Deputy President. He didn't expect the deputy to re respond. respond. Nobody did, but actually. Of course, he responds. Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, Kumbe, I have Kumbe. a voice. You yes. And then they get invited. Octo is like, you lost focus. This is you need to opportunists. You don't care about other people when you're in your mind. Exactly. No, it is exactly that statement. So, I don't understand. Is Octopizo right? I'm going to start with the headmaster. He's very excited. Octopizo. What are you doing? You're coming. You're coming. You're out. You are out and you should just accept you're out. He mm -hmm. you have a lot of feelings. Watch out. But yeah. then the guys had an opportunity. Yeah. They used it. They were sour. They were sour. They were sour. They were sour. Mm -hmm. By the way, they used, you know, when Kali said that, oh, at we are struggling, or oh, open our economy and stuff, he, he was doing it for the creatives. And yeah. if by him doing so, creatives got recognized by the deputy president, why not? Why not? Mm -hmm. Where Octo? But, so, uh, according um, to Octo, uh, they recognize a few people. Those who really don't need the exactly help. Exactly, that's the problem. That Octopizo, Octopizo Shidake is not that at they got, uh, like, Wali on Wakando. Uh, Shidake ni. Uh, those that need help yeah. didn't get the help. So when you only get help, help yeah. niwale, there are very few, like at the, the likes of Akinakali, they don't really need handouts. People who need handouts were not invited. 
let me tell let me tell Octo this by the way. This game is all about publicity. Yeah. Come on, if the only other way you can make it to publicity is the Mbarambara route. So tafadhali, kama hauna hiyo kitu, wacha. We have not seen you in a while. We have forgotten about you. Stop hanging on other people's cloud. Hii imekupita bro. It's Hi. gone. Jesse, yes. I want to hear your opinion. Kwanza kuna mtu aliambia Octo, kwanza wewe umekuwa wapi? Alafu hii is another thing. Atusahau, atujesahau leo msumo kwa mwaka. Akatoka Kenya. Atukatoka. So, kwa pole. But you see that's just social media so i don't know one one thing uh, what actually made me angry at some point nilikuwa na record the voice of octo mm -hmm. but when i heard him even beef about kali's song ati luku luku oh so grudge imetoka ni kwa hiyo mpaka ati luku una kakiru man eh luku gani unajua like when you recall alafu mbona tu alibash calligraph jones si jones peke okay, amekuwa so kitisha help mm -hmm. wasani wamekuwa ki complain over and over and over again that they need someone to recognize them that it's been hard for them for the last one year yeah. up to now yeah mbona tufunge macho they know nika mimi na wewe hapa tuitishe help and then uh, because sisi tuko under why to expect to saidiwe sisi as why and then to expect another station is saidiwe pia ni sisi tulijitishia mimi nikijitishia ni mimi nilikuwa najitishia yes. say I was speaking for myself. Hata ni vile a few others were considered. Mimi hata ningesaidika nikiwa peke yangu, ningeshtuka. Hii hii Kenya ni vile tu Denua amesema, Embaramba aliingia kwa matope akapatiwa advertisement. Na niliwaambia hapa. Niliwaambia I predicted that. Na kumbuka niliwaambia. That is the only route. Kama hauna voice wewe tulia tu na kama uko nayo use it use your voice and okay. one thing one more thing <laughs> i'm so happy that the dp recognized them honestly hakuna yeah. mtu nobody saw it coming yep. yeah mimi nilifikiria itakuwa ah dear mm. mr president dear 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 deputy president yeah. dear 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 na icho no he actually responded hmm? even I, know, right? I even know dp has an he idea has no look at you <laughs> <I'm going laughs> can you also give it up for the honorable Kalonzo though? Oh, by the way, you cannot. Yeah, I know. By the way, Steve has been actually helping creative mm. and uh, you um say who act cop Madenge and who are featured called Madenge Crazy Kenna Crazy Kenna and what they are Kenna making fun of himself. Yeah, 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 coming back to the ground yes. recognizing the, the people who are here because because Kenya uh, the, most of Kenya's population are the youth yeah. yep. now youth and are they're struggling to put their content out there so if you come back to the ground and just talk to them and help them however you can i feel like that is really really good i think the next skit tunafa kwa na sadi pia ko featured ama tokay kwa ngoma ya kali but what 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 that's a good one that's a good one look on safi mimi ni dp kwa vile na dipanga hasla na na vile sasa nani na vile kali na samanga pia yeye ni hapo yes we have to move on to the next story because every time the hashtag is chit chat by facebook if you talk to us we'll really appreciate we're going to be sampling some of those comments now let's go over to another one now a kenyan lady by the name i am a juku on instagram has a cue has actually cost rather a star on social media after she got our safi classic baby wcb record label 
logo and <laughs> Singamboss's tattoo on her chest. <laughs> yes, I'm not even kidding. Okay. Now, in an interview, uh, ju- uh, 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 could you rather <laughs> disclose that she loves how Mbosu composes his songs, adding that she got the tattoo to show people how much she treasures uh, Mbosu's songs. She added that the musician's songs speak more about the life she has been through and she can easily relate. It's say that she has um, not managed to clear the tattoo bill because she only had 5k <laughs> oh. out of the required 20,000. <laughs> now she also alleged that she raised the 5,000 she gave out after taking an advanced salary from her 7,000 shilling salary. Wow. So when Salo comes, I'm saying I like a home 2k. But I love more so, so much, man. I really Does go back. Does love you? honestly jc yeah. if this is your sister like what what are you telling her like what is happening i don't know okay similar to me now i'm different voice of reason yeah. always yeah. yeah let people do them let the same way to me that you come out you know what i want to make a plaque you are my then don't know a rose flower Vile unachukua anga butterfly unawekelewa. Vile unachukuliwa anga lion unawekelewa yeah. main. Unawekelewa footsteps za paka. Abano. Unawekelewa. It's the same way. Mm. Tuwacheni ku ku blow things out of proportion. Right. It's just that tunajua mboso. Mm-hmm. Tunajua wasafi. Na tuna na sasa msichana akaamua ni vile tu alikama out. Si ni juzi tu mtu alichora ya Willie Paul. Yeah, well, kulikuwa ya. Ni ju tena kwa boy, hapo ndio. Mbona mbona tunomalize hizi vitu? Maju no. maju <laughs> nikipenda Niki, msee naenda nawekwa Niki. Mimi niko na. Nikipenda kadi, nina rab Niki. Yeah, Unaweka kadi. <laughs> Now I have a question though, Jesse mm-hmm. still on you. So, Kadi B, there's this guy who got a tattoo of of Kadi like kumileka kubwa kwanza colored and stuff. So, you know, in response, Kadi B responded posted it on her Instagram and she was so grateful and she was like, "You know what? You have just earned yourself a lifetime of free events. Anywhere I'm performing, you get all free all access to all my yeah, events. Yeah, access and afanya hizo for me. Eh, unakuja tu hivi. Hata ticket iko ngapi? Wewe unajileta tu. Kadi said it. You see? So what are we doing for guys who are showing us that kind of love right here in East Africa? Are we giving them enough recognition now that watu wa majua wanafanya na wanakuwa recognized? Hapa mm-hmm. Kenya, hapa TZ, what are we doing? To root it back to the basics. Yeah. Uh-huh. Ndio saizi watu wameanza kuchora tattoos za celebs. Mhm. Pia maju wakati watu walikuwa nachora za kina tupa ya kshikur, mm-hmm. hawakuwa wana recognizewa. Kwa hivyo yeah. tupe ya watu time. Industry yetu ya creative size ndio ina grow. Na ukiona watu wakichora tatu, it, it means we are appreciating what, we are loving our content, content mm-hmm. we are loving what we are doing, <laughs> tupatia watu time. Kila mtu wako entitled to the opinion. I know, Kwa hivyo, this I is know. me, honey. No, 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 no. I actually agree so, with you. So, na watu you. wapewe time. I'm happy, no. ku, I'm, I'm actually happy mm-hmm. seeing people doing that. It shows. <laughs> Yeah. wana appreciate chenye watu wanafanya because exactly. ni toke hapa niende ni choro ya kadibi na hata wewe niona exactly ni toke hapa ni choro maybe she eh, it's as simple as this siku hizi people are going through so much that the times are hard akisikia tatu ya mbosa itambamba after kesho akikasirika asikia anataka ya, ya Willy Paul aende awe awe kwa ya, ya, kuna kwa na cover up mse mko na sota mbona pia tatu unawepo una choro tatu ingine tu ina cover hiyo jina na una hililuwa hiyo ingine juu na kwanza inakuanga perfect hani tafuta pesa umalize ngoja tu mshahara ingie ulipwe jua hata mbosa hiyo 7000 huko kwa ni pesa mengi sana ni ile unakuanga kama umetaka Kevin. Yeah, see, I need to help. Nilo meka, umeka Kevin. Mm. Unaenda sasa una Kevin. Unaenda una Kevin Kevin. 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 Mm. Una imagine ile shida ukijana anapitia sasa. Juu ya vile anapenda mbozo. Hapana, mm. wewe una imagine mali ta... ni nini huyu msichana amefanya na tatu haki honestly? Ni nini amefanya? Oh, amechora ta... mali papaya. Amefanya na tatu honestly. Amechora mali papaya. Ni nini head master? Ni jina gani hiyo? Ni jina principal. Ukiona mwalimu, mwalimu akiona mwanafunzi amechora tatu, kuna sehemu ambazo mtu hafai kuchora. Yes. Oh. Imagine, unachora mgongo? Ina ni sawa. Mugongo. It is okay. I mean, huko ni sawa. Huko hata huwa mpigi huko watafunzi. Ni nini atupigangi wanafunzi huko mm-hmm. atuko sawa. Yeah, yes, yeah. but anyway, huyu msichana, he rent, he rent na fare na, na, na mshahara ya 7000. Hiyo ni pesa mingi sana Tanzania. Si expect nani ammalizie. 
So, yeah. Yeah. so I said so, two venyan mese vukwanziwa kumalizia si expensive. I'm only udema yeah. likuwa mbaka 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 Mwesitatu <laughs> 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 video shared by NTV Uganda shows hundreds of people for Forcibly, forcibly rather dragging a visibly intoxicated male teacher according to reports people of zombo upper primary school in zombo district of uganda escorted a male a drunkard teacher to the office of the district education officer after they got fed up with his endless showing up in school while drunk Hello. yeah <laughs> All right, so headmaster, I'm gonna start with you on this one because you know yeah. it involves children at uh, school going children. Now, that's a grown up man being dragged by kids, laughing, hey. making fun of him. Shay, hey. hey. <laughs> to be a co. Hey. <laughs> hey. 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 Apana, it is not fair, by the way. Uh, uh, it is, but then, honestly, one whoever is recording this video, now mutu niko na shida na e. Iki tu by the way, you will find out that it is, it is an inside situation. Ii ni sasa kwa ni makosa makosa ya huyu mwalimu ni moja kukuja job akiwa hivi. But then, that's his biggest problem. Only. That's his biggest problem. One, huyu mwalimu hey, hey, lakini jo anachoma. Si ati niko ubaya. As a headmaster, I don't think I would also give him any right to teach in my school anymore. Lakini, ay, mimi personally, never do this to me, my children, tafadhali, kindly. Anakunzi wako, mimi this mimi. is what, um, hmm. <laughs> okay. Wa, yani they literally carried this teacher. Yeah, but there's so many, ato wazi tuchapa uka tumaliza, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. with you can't control them, it's like throwing, throwing a deer into lions, but like they're just like tearing him all up. There's something else. Hey. It's like, yeah, Jesse, what's eh? your take? Kiulizo changu kwanza, yeah. my first question. Yeah. Kwa ni ukukua wakuna COVID? <laughs> Ule mwalimu wali, aliambia watoto wa drag wao, uyu mwalimu, uyu mwalimu kwa ni yana humanity? <coughs> ukukua wakuna COVID, wase ndi onataka niulize, like a simple question. Uh, you know me, this is a city in a Kwanga voice of reason, Niki Kadia Ikiti. This, no, this is Uganda. 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 Yeah. yeah. Let me tell you something. Like, people, before Atta to make Vila Tunambi Wangwa, this is what now makes us Africans. Brits in. Sasa, this is it. That is very wrong. Mimbaya. That is very wrong. Mimbaya. One thing. Hmm. Eh, jua uya mwalimu ndi wakunyu afiki hapo na bado wanakuja kazi. There is something wrong. Yes. It's mental. Second thing, you do not, hakuna mwanafunzi ambaye ni wakidato, ni wa primary, kidato ni primary, eh? Hmm? Mm. Apana mani, eh, mm. whatever, yeah, mm. class. Mm. Yeah? Mm. Atafikiria, ati nikona right ya kumpeleka mwalimu kwa ofisi ya DC. Nani, sisi tukio primary yata luko tunajua DC, tulimsoma class 8, district commissioner. <laughs> alikuwa division commissioner, like... ama alikuwa district commissioner, hata huyo. Yeah. Sato kwa tunajua to ofisi ya DC kwa hapi. Kwa kuja na nadrova. So, hapa kuna, there is a grown up behind this. Goja, you guys, I don't know if you guys went through this. Muna kumuka hata all education officers wana kuja shule. Alafi, you don't know when they are coming. Teachers used to panic. I don't know if that was the same case with you guys. Oh, Wakikuja, walimu na pretend vila mtapuangi, <laughs> vila they treat you so well. Adi, ukiuluzo, they're like, no, it's okay. At kama uju, you know, no, 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 it's okay. Uh, we'll have to go through it again after we are done. Hey, wana humble. Hapo ndo nilianza kuuliza gama soali. Kwa wana wanyo, 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 wana
Kwa nyuma wana si kwa na simama wa teacher. They want to see how you're teaching. Oh, see, you're see those are the those are the people. See DC like mm. ule wa police. It's DC wa education. Yes, right? Our yeah. our sister si kuna district commission wa education. Yeah. Nafikiri walipeleka kwa huyo. Mm. And it's so wrong. The adult who was behind this. It is wrong. Mimi sitakwambia shame on you lakini tu nimeshasema. Sijui ama hii kitu itafika <laughs> Uganda lakini ikifika it's so wrong. Yeah. What are you even um, unafunza nini hao watoto? in the near future how yeah, do you handle drug that, he's man. someone's father he's yeah. someone's husband someone's brother deal with him like an adult mkalishe chini mpeleke wewe kama wewe mwalimu mkuu nenda kwa hiyo ofisi ya dc hiyo ni kazi gani unafanyisha hao watoto hao ni watoto wangapi wako pamoja kwa hiyo crowd hakuna kwa hiyo hao watu ambao walikuwa nachukua video walikuwa nafanya nini yeah. waki enjoy waki celebrate huyo mwalimu hata yeah. thank god he's drunk he won't remember he dragiwa kupeleka kwa ofisi no but then the video has gone viral uh, but i'm saying thank god yeah. hata kumbuka yeah. unajua heri kuona kuliko kukua na hiyo memory. Like it's traumatizing. Will he ever step in class again? He will. It's, 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 he will. He needs help. Once yeah. he gets help at a, at a hill, he will. <laughs> Unfortunately, sijui ama, ama sidhani hata kuna mtu wako willing kwa hiyo shule kumsaidia apate help. That's That is problem. the worst part. I, saw, I don't think there is anyone And, and because of COVID, you know so many people are going through a lot. Yeah. Alafu utapata government supports like maybe kama mm-hmm. let's say Kenya inaitwa TSC. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They, they support those that are registered mm-hmm. under them. Yeah. How about those who are working under our private schools? Those that are not like maybe fully employed. Maybe he's a private school teacher. Ama hata kama si private, maybe he's not board. registered. Wa board no, pia. Yeah. So anakuja tu maybe kusaidia alafu anaonwa kando za macho. So yeah. if you do this to him and maybe maybe he's going through a lot that's why he's drinking because maybe is it me crank hakuna mtu like, adult ako na career huwa nakunywa hivyo kama hana issue yeah. that is one thing because you know showing up in class drunk is bad okay. na unaona bado ako na memory ya kukumbuka then wako na job yeah. unaona hiyo hiyo he, he was still coming to work he was yeah. still coming to work yeah. and this is what you do kuna mwenye anakunywanga analala kwa mtaro na anasema adai hiyo job huyo yeah. bado ako na hiyo passion mm. kwa hivyo he only needs help thank god it's not in kenya Thank God it's not. He can't hear. Thank God it's not in ke- <laughs> what? What? Headmaster. <laughs> Usiwe jaribu institution yako. <laughs> Usijaribu. <laughs> mimi ni mimi nitakuwa against you say. Mimi nakwambia hata wanafunzi hata ingilia history. Hawazazi. Wana bila wewe. Like it's like, like an adult, yes. you know? Yeah, I feel like that is I also feel the same way. Sasa kuniambia hizi vitu ndizo tunaonangwa kule CNN wanaona bila tuko naive backward. Bila <laughs> <laughs> wanafunzi pia wanazindikisha walimu na hakuna taka moja kako na mask. Sijui mko ni mask. But is it within the principles jurisdiction mm. to maybe suspend the teacher? Like no, just to do rules za kwao. Yeah. You know that Uganda we don't but know. Kama ni headmaster vile tunako hii tena wasema going headmaster. Right, but that is just a nickname. He's not the really headmaster. Okay, make it clear. Please make it clear. Okay, tafadhali. Si mwalimu mkuu. So that let's say maybe my question is this. You as the headmaster, don't you have the authority yeah. to punish him the right way? No. Instead of letting mm-hmm. ke- No, yeah, seriously, but then no, headmasters and the teachers have these uh these control measures. But the fact that they are put there, you know the word principal or headmaster is not just principal, is the principal to everyone else yeah including the teachers when you sit with your principal mwalimu yeah. the principal is actually the principal teacher the jina teacher na kongwe metoa but haizi kupanish he haizi kupanish your... but akona mm-hmm. akona ni kukuandikia na kuandiki anga barua wacheni niwaambia hakuna watu wanakuwa uliona mimi nilikuwa nasema siku hizi careers ziko na pesa ni teaching na nakuwa daktari yeah uliona hiyo mimi yeah. whoever said that was so right you do know a principal cannot do anything to you I, I, uh, my but, mother is but, but but is na hana kitu chenye anaweza kufanyia ni barua tu anakuandikia but barua yake ni powerful that's what ah, they know what ni kuambia before mwalimu akuwe demoted it can take even seven years in mm-hmm. Kenya hakuna watu wanakuanga na rights kama walimu hiyo watu wengi hawajuangi okay. before mwalimu akuwe demoted mwalimu the only thing yenye inawamalizanga hmm. ni ile ya defilement unaona ya anything causing rape ku defile mtoto unaona hizo hmm that ina kuna jina inatumiwangwa kuna jina iko nayo that is the worst lakini hizi zingine ati za ulevi hmm. za ulevi hata yeye so, afai kukuona so, akikuandikia barua uende huko hmm. na wewe upeane defense yako hmm. before iende ikaliwe chini na a board of people wa ku discuss wa hiyo county yenu ha yao iko yao ni county si sikuizi kuna county yes. oh, sema yeah. kama sasa Nairobi county ya ya, ya education offices wa ku discuss one hapana anafaa rudi class tumpe ya 2 weeks yeah. you go back to class Usi... but sasa sijui Uganda kukoaje 
All right, maybe their laws are different. But all in all, we all agree that was wrong. It's wrong. It, they should have handled it uh, yeah, in a different way. Anyway, anyway, and on that note, on that note, we are moving. We are moving. You okay, you okay, you're moving. We're going to move on to the next story, right? <laughs> No, okay. This is the, the next story is very absurd. Jason Beno, what are you doing now? What this one? <laughs> We're going to move on to another story. Now, members of the Virgin Mary Orthodox Church in Gacha, Kiambu County, are counting their losses after a gang of robbers broke into church and stole a copper med bell. <laughs> <laughs> weighing 500 kgs. <laughs> now, the church's leadership, led by organizing secretary James Warari, say that they got details of the breaking last week and were forced to report the matter to Ngacha Police Station. Standard Digital reported that the faithful have now urged their local administration and police to take action to bring the perpetrators to justice. They have also urged the government to provide security for churches following the ban of religious gatherings in the counties of Kiambu, Nairobi, Machakos, and Kajado, as well as Nakuru County. Man, the bell is there, but then I'm just looking at the fact or how the fuck are you going to do it? Okay, though it's an animation. I was watching Bell he can get it. He type. He size. Imagine. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? He size. So you may want to. But the first time I saw it, that's what I remember. Villa, villa, I say, walikuwa, walikuwa me pangia. Manpower. Can you imagine what he can do? Can you imagine how much 500 kg is? One who may want to be involved. Catholic, I remember this kamba. So you can get a man who Okay, my question, not for... <laughs> no, but do you know 500 kgs? Even by the, the thickness of it. Nani copper. As in, 500 kgs. Mumebeba. Muna peleka wapi. Ita katakatu olini. Nisa angapi muda. Lakini kuna watu niliona hapa githurai. Wako na expertise. Wali katakata gari ikaisha. It is very possible to beat an abel. Yeah. It, it is, is impossible. It is the easiest thing. Oh, so they just, like, is it really that bad? Are people really that, like, broke in a way that you may be a church can get it? Is it like, um, is it like, how do you know what's happening? Aoni watu wa county yetu. My home county people, tunafanya nini? Mani, mani, aki, adoki abuz. What is wrong with us? What is happening? You know, I speak this so that we can understand. We can... What is happening? Iyo kanisa ya gesha, mesema watu wakua kichelewa kazi. Watu, ujue watu napigua kengele, tunajua, oh, haia, masai mefika. Watu wa hende. Iyo bell ili to say big time mpaka high school. Muna kumika high school. Dennis, unijua nza kumwe lala. Muna kumende zoa haba ukisika. Kengele, kengele. Nujua kuna wasa wana wakingi na hizo bell. Wanajua, ah, ni saa sita. Ah, ni six. Mimi kiwa tao. Unona down to unfala St. Peter? 6.15 ama 6.13. Lazima. Iyo kengele inaliana. Sasabu ni ambie, au wase wangekua lichukua ya St. Peter. Wangekua haja lafu, niyo basi za gelo ziko hapa. Na ndio na ndio kwa kuna 500 kg na kengele na ina kishikilio sijui walibeba na nini ju si gunia gunia itakatika hizo ni job walicheza hapa ni wasi kama gari unajua alipiga kwa vitu kama that's an inside job lazima huni mtu anaendanga hiyo cha ama hata kwa anaenda ni is a new member hapa na ama grow up au uko i grow up akipiga hiyo kengele wachunguza belding as well Let's think of it this way. Maybe there's someone in the neighborhood. I'm tired. It's over. Now I want to hear from home. We don't need the bells. The churches are not operating, so it's over.
We can do this anymore. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I can't let them know what I say. But my county people. So it's Punguza Saudi. It's like, you know what? He bend the same. Considering ni location gani, hakuna mtu anaweza kuwa na sumbuliwo. Hawa watu tuna, hey, guy, aduwa nge shaks. People, where? Hawa, just kizi, we are overpopulated. Watu wana put up structures kila mahi. Hawa, wacha ni kushow, wacha ni kwambie. Ni sawa tu, ni county ya kwe tu home, wacha ni siseme. No, I'm serious. Have you ever lived on a flat? Alafu, hawa ni naibawa na decide kukujua kupura up a structure. Mm. Una jua kelele na kujanga na construction ama mm. na hiyo nini? You are like ni 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 like I want to see like maybe that is the same lakini kengele imesumbua watu kutoka time ya wa missionary <laughs> nyinyi ni nyinyi imeona itawasumbua wa missionary hawako na shida nayo hawako na shida nayo babu zetu ndio watu babu zetu zikawasaidia kujuanga hiyo ni six sisi hiyo ni masaya misa sisi guy akitu where we had the nation kengele ya kanisa Ai, si hata iliwangetoa chuma za fence. Kengele akitatolewa wapi nani ata construct? Hizo kengele mshaiona mahali hata kuna hata kuna ngatikiwa. Na hata zikitengenezwa, na tuli ya musha hata hao wenye walitengeneza. Haizi kwa equality kama hii. You see that was like maskira wasi wataomoka aje. Tutajua hiyo kengele, hiyo ni copper very unique. Haijawahi And it's very strong. Eh hiyo kengele. Wakenya ni moyo. Na ile kitu ya pale katikati. Kosa hiyo ya katikati, unajua ni kwa heavy. Me remember pulling those mini strings. Ungecheza cheza hapo hivyo. Uta utabebo na hiyo kamba. Eh inaweza kuinua juu. Ni walai. Ni skill. Zipati walai. Kuna kitu ya skill by the way. Hii kitu si ya kupigwa na anyone. But I've never been Kathy. It's not even I've never had Anglican churches back uko Ocha wako nazo. Ni churches mostly za missionaries zenye zilijengwa na missionaries. Nasikia anga tu ikilia like but I've I've ni kama unasikia vile you're in the neighborhood you just unasikia. Eh unakumbuka nikiwapea story school yetu kulikuwa kuna kuja hizi tunapigiwa kengele tunajua ni time ya kulala you remember mm. one time i told you that yeah. ni hii kengele ilikwenda tusaidia kwa sababu kwa dong community yote inajua ni kubaya na sisi tunajua ni kulala alafu sasa waende location ya shule yetu watufanyie hivi lakini hii mtajua kwenye imeenda wasijaribu what race wali drugs labda wakipuli kama wakati wako ka kitu ni watu wa kaunti yetu lakini akiwa watu wa Kiambu akituwa chini hizo wanafanya ile kitu all right all right hizo churches zote no i want to know your experience with the bells did you have them in your church in high school what do you think of this we were sampling some of the comments as we wind up now on to our last story now Recently, three Ugandan boys went to audition for a talent show, and after their dancing performance, one of the judges by the name Alex Muluku was not impressed at all and decided to humiliate them. According to Alex, the boys smelled really bad that they needed to, sh he thought they needed a shower and not to be in public like that. After their video went viral, social media users were so disappointed by the judges' remarks and decided to offer their support. One of the, uh, one of the people who stood by them is singer Bruno K who asked the judges not to audition people then if their intention is to make fun of them. Now the boys have however seen the light at the end of the tunnel after multiple people decided to sponsor them including a cloth line, a perfume store and even a hotel. You know? Alright, we can have a we can have a listen on that. Nana <laughs> Mulekera wao kuhunya, kicho, masharama geze bombo, te bombo, muna be bombo. Tuto sana tuto ya tuto sana tuto ya unga wa kuhunya. Bachitegebe, bachitegebe, te bombo. 
Yeah. Imagine just look at their faces. Okay. Imagine mtu anakuambia ngombe leo watu. I love this thing gets aired on TV. It's not like ati anakuhimilate hapo kwa hall and you leave your shame there like ukitoka no one knows what happened in there. No. How old are those you boys? get humiliated up there and then you go home people watch you on TV and they make fun of you and you have school to go to and people will still be looking at you they're like oh my god when I look out. You know the stigma that comes with that. Jesse, you are what are we thinking? Yeah, they're kids. They're young boys those. Yeah. Those are young boys. What are we thinking? I hope that man <laughs> okay. Oh, <laughs> but I'll start there. Mm. Disclaimer. Mm. Disclaimer. Disclaimer. Mm. But I hope that man <laughs> came <laughs> from a very good background. Mm. Oh. I hope he's not African because every African man I'm a pity. Now I hope that woman who is laughing is not a mother. Because it is very wrong if she's a mother vile anacheka. Aki stand mtoto wa mama mwingine akihimiliatiwa. Yeah. Vile anacheka mpaka anaangusha mpaka jacket inakuwa misplaced position anaona itengeneze. Huyu mbaba huyu ni wale wa baba. Hmm? Mimi ko tuna sawa. Huyu ni mbaba. Yeye mm. yani that is the only mistake aliona angeambia hao watoto. Mm. You you are crushing those boys, you are crushing their ego. Does he know what it took them kufika mali wamefika? Angalia face huyo kijana. Yeah. Ona frustration. She was so defeated. Do you look at him? Ona okay. vile aliwafanyia. Why? Why did I come here? Eh? Yeah? Na ni nyinyi hamkuweka air conditioner kwa hiyo room. Does si wao walikuwa wakuja na air conditioner waliwandikia kwa requirements. Wow. Si wao walikuwa mali hapa hii hewa. Ama ni ati. Si wao walikuja mali hakuna hewa. Hakuna hakuna dirisha. Wameweka lights mbaya. Yes, yeah, setting ya stage ni mbovu, Wewe. hakuna hadi lights, muone vile muone, muone. Hey. 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 Okay, atakuwa na ubaya. It's so wrong. Hey. Like it's so wrong. It's so wrong that hizi ndizo vitu tunawaambia yeah. zinatufanyanga tuonekane tukiwa very naive zikienda yeah. out there. And he thinks he's doing something very good. Mm-hmm. Ati maybe anaonekana akiwa bazu. Yeah, no, di, hmm? yeah, yeah, ni bazu. Yeah, kuna yeah, 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 tingio kusa. Hata Ian Mbugwa is very polite. Yeah. I'm so distracted by that boy's face. Yeah. I wish ingekuwa ni Kenya tuopata the pallet wira. Baba nilikuwa nataka kuuliza history. Ingekuwa ni Kenya huyu jamaa hangekuwa sasa hivi we, we, hmm? hangekuwa alishakuit sasa hivi naona ile violence ingekuwa unaona we kenya kuna violence violence kenya you wake up with violence you wake up and you choose violence in the morning and you look at those boys yeah yani yeah, they are trying but, but it's good it's good thing. but it's good that people came to help them mama ni ajali no that's yeah. the vibe by the way nikwambia unajua mm. umjamaa alikuwa anafikiria yeye anacheza kiki ati amewamaliza Unacheza gana God? Afurahishi yako kadiri anacheza. Unacheza gana God? Do you know who is God? God is not a respect of human. Huyo huyo ambaye ulitumiwa vibaya kukufanyia hiyo maneno ambayo amekufanyia, huyo huyo ndiyo sababu yako kuomoka. Angalia. Imagine and maybe they've gotten even so much more than they would have gotten even if they won the competition. Unakuka ile Mungu anakuandalia meza mbele ya adui zako. Hapo hapo tu. How about Dio he? Dio he. And it should be a lesson to to every other person. Si, Once you are in a position si, 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 si. to help someone ama ku uplift mtu. Yeah. If you can't see anything good about them, just keep, keep quiet. quiet. Don't, don't, say anything. Anything. Yeah. Jo, don't say anything negative. My mom nani lishoi wambia tena. She told me, mm. if you can't don't ever tell someone something they can't change about themselves. Yeah. Mm. Do you know there are people who have sense naturally? and they can never change that. Yeah. Yeah, Alizaliwa hivyo. Mm-hmm. Wakati alifika adolescent ikakuwa was. By the way. Do you know there are people who their blood smells? Kuna watu si sent ni damu yao ina. Hadi akijipaka perfume ndio. Hata afanye kwanza yeah. kwanza akipaka i mix. <laughs> Bomb. Haribika. Hmm? It's a plus it's a nuclear war. Kuna haribika. Kwa mwili yake. Hmm? Like yeah, if you can't tell someone anything positive at this point, hatuna time ya negative vibes. Yeah. Kama una kitu mzuri akwambia mtu. We have a lot to say with it's 2021. You know? People are drinking people have been fired. Kwa ni Uganda. Kwa ni Uganda ni nini na endelea? People have lost their corona. People have lost their loved ones. It's a lot happening right now. Just be kind. Be kind to people. Yeah. Uganda has a lot of Uganda ni nini hapa ni mkubwa. But at the same time it's been so much fun. Do you have anything you want to say or add on that as we wind up Dennis um, and Master m- Mimi ambao nitaongeza ni by I just felt uh, as much as what Jesse has said hakuna kitu ya kutoatoa hakuna kitu ya kuongeza hapo I always keep by then nowadays I've, there's something I'm, I'm liking doing nowadays maze try to make as many friends as you can and make sure that every day kisha kila jioni you have made at least one friend just mm-hmm. one 
kikwetu wa tunasema uh, urafiki mm. as in friendship is steps yeah. nikitsema na kikuyu ina yes inakuwaga hivyo friendship mm. is steps mm. the way the people you walk with are the people that are going to take you there yeah but there is a the, the season mm. in 2021 imenifunza hiyo kitu manze hey, make hey. friends make kamati friends hata kama unaamua kwenda kamati ya rochafu root make sure kwa hiyo kamati uko kwa hiyo kamati uko na rafiki Nakushu. because True. things we are... all need one another yes. and na vile tu denis amesema um, uh, shout out to fadhili there's a story fadhili put up on his facebook mm-hmm. and there's this chick <clears throat> in the states though who passed away yep. she didn't have any friends she had an asthmatic attack she didn't she never used to talk to her neighbors yep. she used to live by herself oh, she never nice. used to f- like visit family or have people over you know she passed away and she had money in her account so akidai no one came visiting even the colleagues they think well then too maybe she moved to another state or something yeah. I quit so uh, landlord alikuwa tuna anachukua do kwa account so by the time do in meisha um but <clears throat> it took like a, a year or something Plus two, uh, mm. yeah like two years or something yeah. right sana anza kupewa like wanaanza kutuma zile barua za at we're going to evict you you're going to evict you you have to settle your debts you need know, there's no way you go kuna mtu anatumianga kumbe some one died like two three, three years ago ali kufuatwa kiona tv wanampata tu tv ko black but kwani stima iko ienda ama ilikuwa inaenda alafu ina cuz the tv was still on Me think I saw that photo. That yeah. was so weird. I saw that like, photo. Yeah. The way. TV was on and someone he died. Three years. Mm. No one came visiting. No one, until time landlord will kujua kavunja mlango. They are like yo. Lakini kwa ni uko stand kwa ni uko kwa ni watu wako wanukange. You see the issue is eh? but uh, it's 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 new york who You know when you when uh, my best I'm, yeah. I'm I'm going back to this. Mtu akikuwa concerned yes. asikie by the way huku kuna kitu. Yes. Mm, do you know like funny story my gas was fizzing yeah. gas yangu si kuwa yeah. so my neighbor calls me I'm like eh hey, uko kwa hao niko ah ah uko niko tao oh oh really oh your gas is fizzing kwani nini niko ah si kwa nimelock mlango by the way coincidentally si kwa nimelock nilimwambia ingia ingia shout out to you nikat by the way atana to watch yeah. like, eh? shout out to you thank you thank you thank and you thank you for being a good neighbor na judy ana to watch amesema oh, mnaka fine oh. tunamalizia oh, oh. si ni yeah, we're waiting up, we're waiting eh? up yeah judy amesema mnaka fine yeah nimeamua kutesa ni boys fashion okay 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 all right denis yo 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 shout out just yeah kitwali there is bob mine across all social media platforms manze i'm doing this thing and uh, i'm happy that you guys have continued to support na kutoshika tu hapa tunashukuru and then manze uh, follow me up on ig i'm doing something different nowadays so yes, pale, hapa mamoti squeeze ah zimeweza mbaya go check him out his yeah. content is really amazing Tunaenda. dennis underscore bo my now. now yeah na kwa uwezi mfikia just at feeling zin a link you up i'll hook you up yeah. at jc mugore yeah kila yeah. mahali yeah so right. i'm just in mugore facebook just inta mugore instagram and mugore mugore show twitter lazima tuuze sera <laughs> all right let's shout out the guys on facebook as we wind up sinta waithera anasema we bell yetu ya primary ungekuwa umelala hata uambi ungeambiwa uamke loving the show thank you so much king number no. 8 abi shout out to you Sam Adeline just loving the show from Westlands ni Kondani hadi Tamati Sibor Joluo a big shout out to you we we'll see you and then i have Kalale Wayuna asema watching from Kitale Boynet BD well thank you so much Kalale Bado asema watching from Kitale once again a big shout out to you Slevian Okuku wa Mlalongo always in Mlalongo massive Kachum Chepa anasema stereo kapenguria kacha kapa oche okay, chepareria niko tuned ni in ndani show hadi ma Gedha. A big shout out to you Asante sana big up yourself I have Kelvin Marsh and some tuned uh, we're just going to sample a few Vantos hi a big shout out to you shout out to my girl as well and then on Twitter I have someone else right here and some nini um I have Alf- Alfreak Sungu uh, a big shout out to you thank you so much for being here there's a some ingine yes, moja yes, 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 yes. yes. Uh, afande, afande kemani Asante sana kwa nikunitumia WhatsApp nashukuru sana uh, pia tuko na nini Jesse <laughs> Siwezi tumia WhatsApp. Ah niko sawa. Yes. Afande Kemani kutoka GK Prison Nyeri asante sana na mtu pale MTRH Meru. Meru watu wangu Meru manzee mimi nashukuru sana. It's been a good time. Asante. All right, Jesse. Yeah. Mugure Muresho. Pale yeah. Twitter. Mugure Muresho Twitter. <laughs> 
Hey guys, at Feeling Jean across our socials. A big shout out to Mili right here. Shout out to uh, Frank for holding us down, Yvonne. as well as uh, Yvonne. Hey, Yvonne, Asante Sana. And then there's Rose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mili, 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 right here. And then, uh, it's been so much fun, guys. We're going to see you again next week with another amazing show. Shout out to Ron. Hi, Ron. Oh, Ron. Mm. I COVID is a big deal. I COVID is a big deal. But then, we're going to see you again next week. Enjoy your weekend. Have a lovely one. Mwah, see you Cheap. next week. We love Chat. you. Bye. Chat. 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 Chat.